I'm here at Fort Point, near San Francisco and underneath the Golden Gate Bridge. Let's go check it out. The story begins in 1851, two years after the California Gold Rush, when the War Department established a Board of Engineers for the Pacific Coast. The board recommended casement fortifications for a pair of works at the Golden Gate and barbette batteries on Alcatraz Island. The construction of a fort on the South Shore was the highest priority and a state-of-the-art fortification at Four Point was perceived as the key to the entire Pacific Coast from a military point of view. Workers blasted the 90-foot cliff at the construction site down to 15 feet above sea level. The structure was protected by seven foot thick walls and the multi-tier casement construction typical of third system forts. While there are more than 30 such forts on the east coast, Four Point was the only one of its type built on the west coast. In 1861, during the Civil War, the Army mounted the first 55 guns at the fort. Colonel Albert Sidney Johnston, commander of the Pacific Branch of the Army, prepared the defenses of the bay and ordered the first garrison for Fort Point. He would later resign his commission to join the Confederate Army and was later killed at the Battle of Shiloh in 1862. During the war, as many as 500 men from the 3rd U.S. Artillery, 9th U.S. Infantry, and 8th California Volunteer Infantry were garrisoned at Fort Point. Stationed several miles from the nearest major theaters of combat, the men spent their days in routine of drills, artillery practice, inspections, sentry duty, and maintenance chores. 24 enlisted men were bunked to a casement on the third tier while officers had single or double quarters on the floor below. To supplement the coal fuel used to warm up the fort, soldiers would gather driftwood from the shore. While the fort never saw a battle, it was always armed and garrisoned throughout the Civil War and was always ready to protect against a Confederate attack from the sea. In the years following the Civil War, Fort Point saw varying degrees of use from sporadic army barracks to periods of neglect. The pre-Civil War cannons once prized strategic importance became outdated and were eventually dismantled. By World War I, the Army revamped Fort Point as detention barracks, a role it never fulfilled. Through the 1920s, the Presidio utilized the site to house unmarried officers and host military schools, which includes a welding shop. In the late 1930s, plans to build the Golden Gate Bridge included proposals to demolish Fort Point. Thankfully, Chief Engineer Joseph Strauss recognized its architectural significance and designed a unique arch to safely accommodate the bridge construction over Fort Point. During World War II, Fort Point returned to active military duty with soldiers stationed there safeguarding the Golden Gate entrance against submarine threats. After World War II, efforts to preserve Fort Point gained momentum. Over the next two decades, support for preservation efforts fluctuated. In 1959, retired military officers and civilian engineers formed the Fort Point Museum Association, advocating its destination as a National Historic Site. Finally, on October 16, 1970, Fort Point was officially recognized as a National Historic Site. Today, Fort Point is a great historical landmark that teaches people, particularly those in San Francisco, the early military history of the West Coast. And with that, our tour shall begin. After passing through the gates, we'll come to our first stop, the courtyard, where we get a sense of the architectural splendor of this 19th century fort. It's even more spectacular 
when you walk upstairs and get a great view of the courtyard. There are also little military displays here on the ground level, like this mortar cannon. Now inside, there are great exhibits about military life here at Fort Point, whether it's uniforms or examples of living quarters at Fort Point, like this captain's quarters, which includes a simple shelf, pot belly stove, and a simple bed amongst other items. There's also a great exhibit about the Buffalo Soldiers. These were African-American soldiers who fought bravely in America's wars despite segregation within the army. Now on the top level, you get this incredible view of the courtyard as well as the lighthouse and this spectacular view of the Golden Gate Bridge which includes the arch that was built to go over Fort Point. You not only get a great view of the Golden Gate here, but you can also see the remains of the fort's previous life. Here, these platforms once held the huge cannons that were used to safeguard both the Golden Gate and San Francisco Bay from impending warship attacks. As you can see, they're quite fascinating to look at. And that was our tour of Fort Point. I hope you had a fun time checking out this piece of San Francisco history. And I hope you stick around for when we talk about the Golden Gate Bridge. Like, comment, and subscribe for future content. We would love to see you here. But until then, see you later folks, and may your gifts bless the world.